Right, so let's make a small change to the previous example. Now, uh, it's the same thing, but this, uh, the uh, change, uh, the difference between this and the previous one is, uh, now it is given a velocity u. Now, it does not start from uh, O, it does not start from uh, o, o being the center, I mean, uh, uh, O being center, that, that means uh, when, when the particle is at this point, it is under equilibrium because, because the uh, spring is not either stretched or contracted. So, this is the natural length of the spring from A to O. So, in this example, uh, it has been stretched up to this point. Right? It has been stretched up to this point. That means the stretch or the extension is L now by an amount equal to A. So, it is stretched and it is not released from rest. It is given a velocity U. In this direction, it is given a velocity U. Right. Now, uh, uh, they are asking us to find the center. Center means uh, if it is, it move, moves with simple harmonic motion, it should have a center. Then the amplitude, period and the velocity at the center. Uh, if we want to use uh, simple harmonic motion equations, then we can have to show that this behaves as simple harmonic motion first. So we'll uh, assume a general point, general point, general uh, position of the particle. And uh, for this example, uh, I'm going to measure displacement with respect to A here, just to show you something. Something that is uh, something uh, that is very useful when dealing with uh, examples. Okay, just uh, for the moment, uh, measure the displacement with respect to A. So if this is the case, now uh, apply F equal M A. So in this direction, if we apply F equal M A, uh, the Hooke's law, Hooke's law tells you what the force is due to the extension. Now the extension is x minus l x minus l so a times x minus l m then i get x double dot in this direction x minus l right now minus k x minus l equals m x double dot now this does not look like the characteristic equation it doesn't look like the characteristic equation so let's uh, rearrange it. So minus k over m, then x minus l, x double dot. If this was x instead, then uh, we obtain we have obtained the characteristic equation. Now, now this is not x. So let's uh, make a substitution. Say uh, I'm going to make the substitution here. Set. x minus l equal y set x minus l equal y this implies x double dot is equal to y double dot if you differentiate this with respect to time twice you get x double dot equals y double dot now if you make this substitution you can rearrange it k over m y equals y double dot now this is the characteristic equation with omega squared being k over m okay. now this is the characteristic equation now based on this characteristic equation we can define the other uh, formulas we need the formulas would be uh, v squared equal omega squared a squared minus not x we put y here y squared Please keep that in mind. We put y squared there. Okay. Y squared. Right. So, as the first thing we have to find, find the center. Now, how do you find the center? To find the center, you know what happens at the center of simple harmonic motion? At the center, the acceleration is zero. Right. So, at the center, x double dot or y double dot in this case y double dot is equal to 0 at the center y double dot is equal to 0 if y double dot is equal to 0 that that implies y is equal to 0 
y is equal to 0. So we started with uh, x here. So y equal to 0 implies x is equal to l. So x equal l is the center. That means at this point. You can see that if we have started to measure the displacement from the center here, from uh, uh, where, where the particle is in equilibrium, if we, may, if we start measuring the displacement from this point, then we did not, we would not have to use this substitution here. But this is very important. That's why I showed uh, this part for you guys. Right then, uh, the amplitude and the period. To find the amplitude, we can use this one here because the data given here is that the particle is released with a velocity u at a point b. Now uh, we use this one. V squared would be u squared at this point, a velocity is given, omega squared, omega squared means k over m, a squared minus y squared. So what would be y in this point? Uh, right, so when x equal to 2l, what is y? When x equal to 2l, what is y? y would be l. Right, x equal to l, y would be l. Right, so u squared equal omega squared means k over m, a squared minus l squared. So if we rearrange it, m u squared over k plus l squared is equal to a squared. If we take the square root, let me take the square root here. So, let me try it. Amplitude, therefore, amplitude is square root of mu squared over k plus l squared. Now, this is not the amplitude. L is not the amplitude. That is because you are, give, you are giving a velocity to the particle at that point. So, this cannot be considered as the amplitude. That means amplitude is further away from B towards the right side. So this is the amplitude we obtain. Suppose u is equal to 0. If u is equal to 0, then this part is equal to 0. So the amplitude will become L. Right. Now uh, we have found the amplitude center and what is the period? To find the period, T is equal to 2 pi over omega. So T is equal to uh, 2 pi times root m over k. So notice here that the period does not change. The period does not change. Because omega is the same here, omega does not change. So the period will not change. Period is the same. T equals 2 pi over k. And the velocity at the center. What is the velocity at the center? Uh, center means uh, when y e equals 0. So use this equation v squared omega squared. We know a squared now. a squared y has to be 0. So v equals omega a. So the maximum velocity or the speed of this particle at the uh, at the center would be k over m times m u squared over k plus l squared. Right, this is the velocity. So if you want, you can find the velocity of the particle at any point. Any point within this. X should be, so y should be l and minus l. Y should be ln minus L.